Right then, are we live? Okay, guys, um, back here at Corp with uh, Corpse Party. Today Zoe's not around, so I'm going to be going at it alone. Uh, we've done two episodes, and I apologize for being lightning clothed. It's really hot today. Um, okay, wait, what? Ooh, give me a second. Technical difference. Right, okay, we're back, and um, I realized that uh, although the options are grayed out, it's like you can actually still click on it. So, here we go. <coughs> I'm gonna eat this out. Whoa, whoa. Hmm. Somehow I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. They are surprisingly clean. That's good though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lie down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. Never be in a nook in a corner because although you're avoiding ambush, unless you got a gun, that's a bad place to be. These girls need to watch one more horror movies. Everybody in a horror game and a horror movie has never actually seen one. It's like an alternate reality where they've never seen one so they don't know what to do. Aha, uh -huh. I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here that we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm gonna take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. But heroes never die. <coughs> ah, this will do nicely. I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. The sprain's a goner. Now hold still. Oh, th oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Hmm, feels great, Seiko. Thank you. Hee <laughs> hee, you're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it, though. No worries, you've done more than enough already. Uh, you're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. What? Ginger just went to sleep? Glad you agree. He he he, it's slumberland for me. You really are an oddball, you know that? <laughs> so, hey, Naomi, I don't feel like being in slumberland right now. What is it? If we find Machida, have you thought about what you want to do with him? <laughs> what? <laughs> Eh? Well, you know what they say. When two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say it often leads to love, a sweet love. Uh -huh. You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. Mm. Get all girly with him in this creepy place, and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, so girls, apparently, this is a good idea. Get yourself trapped in some horror game, go up to the guy and be all like, Save me. Snork. <laughs> I don't even know what that sound effect means. Oh crap, I didn't start the timer. Hang on. 
Yeah, I'd say it's probably been about 10 minutes. Uh, timer. 21 minutes. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school. Like, nothing ever happened. Ah ha 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 ha. <laughs> Titus laughter. Thanks for your advice, I'll think about it. Eh heh. I hope you find him soon. Uh-huh. Ah, boy, I really should get a girl to do these voices. You kinda don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish you didn't have to be put through all this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here. Am I right, Seiko? Are you ever gonna sleep? <laughs> Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. Oh, Seiko knows all. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure that I apologize later. Mm -hmm. mm, gasp, gulp. And what was that exactly? Sorry, it's just when I see that ass of yours, I start... Really? To drool? I start to drool? You are so weird. Just... Okay, if you guys heard that, you're as disturbed as I am. Big brother! Sob, sob! If Zoe were here, she would say I'm more disturbing. That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. Flag, you're gonna die. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. Good, good. I insist. Don't Flag, you're gonna die. I insist, don't worry, I'll be fine. Just keep dad ass parked on that bed, you got it? Okay, so Seiko, Seiko is from the hood, you know, she, she from where I'm from. Well, but, look, your ankle all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing, man. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. Yeah, you just park that ass in that couch and I'ma go, go do some stuff, man. Mm, my ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has a definite knack for caretaking. Miss you and the others, Satoshi. I wonder what they're all doing right now. These were all the intro lines, so I'm not going through them. I'm eating my apple. Don't be an ass, Yoshiki! <laughs> okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. <laughs> oh, Naomi, you like the boy! I just want to see him. Oh, Naomi, you think as I do. Why did this have to happen? I don't know, Naomi, you tell me. I really hate this too. Okay, Naomi. Time to wander around by yourself. Yeah. I can't save. Again. Why is the door locked? On closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha. Are those... children? Let's all go on a field trip together... this summer! Okay, lights flickering and shit. That's bad. Who? What? Don't ask who and what! Find a f***ing weapon! Um... My head hurts so bad, I can't stop this ringing in my ears. The old general on the desk. The door is latticed with countless strands of black hair rooting it in place. Oi. Hey. Is... is someone there? Uh-oh. 
It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Whoa, dude. Sachan. Sachan. Have you come to find me? What? What the? Hey! Hey! I need to get away. The door is latticed. It's no use. Where did this hair come from? Try using a match to burn the hair? Yes. The flame isn't strong enough to do any significant damage. Yes. Is anything super flammable in here? Sizable whoosh and a waft of foul smelling heat, the hair lit up and then hardened and fell away, freed the door and allowing it to open. <laughs> okay, so basically, um, I tried not to die, uh, got some rubbing alcohol, rubbed it on the hair, and then doused it in fire. Okay. Now, me, you do realize you just walked around the room, right? I'm gonna kill you. In an utter panic, I began to run as fast as my feet would carry me. I was so out of sorts, I didn't even know where I was running. I kept calling out Seiko's name over and over. When I regained my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! 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 Seiko, don't leave me! Not alone! Aw, sob sob. Me, 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 Seiko, is that you? Okay, let's go find us a sa What the? What the? Okay, so there were the sounds of a door opening and closing and latching or something? I think Seiko is buttering her pooper again. Yo. Yo. Seiko. Stall doors locked from the inside and somebody hung themselves in there. Someone's definitely in there. <laughs> oh dear, so it actually was Seiko. Seiko, you really shouldn't have buttered your pooper in there! Oh my god, she's alive! The noose around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help are just strangling her further. Okay, so I need to find something that can help. Okay, I can't go into the boys' laboratory. Okay, God is gonna save me. But... Okay, so she needs to find something to stand on. This will do. A 
significant amount of the maggots have found their way onto our hands and feet, ew. The filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth, loose slowly in her noose. All life had completely drained from her face. <laughs> Voice actors are really good for being able to scream on command. I can't do that. I'm not a screamer. No, Seiko. <laughs> this is not an appropriate time to be eating an apple, but really. Why? Why would you hang yourself? He was smiling and laughing this whole time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. <laughs> Children. Children! Ring around the roses, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Naomi found herself with a large pair of sewing scissors in her hands. Her mouth was agape and she was lowering the open scissors into it as if intending to swallow them whole. I can feel the scissor blades clanging against my molars, and I can hear it too. What am I doing? Why would I try to swallow a pair of scissors? <laughs> my hand's moving on its own. Game over. What? Okay, I, I have no idea how I got to the wrong ending, but um, I've got eight minutes, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try that again. Alright, maybe it's because I took way too long to save her or something. Okay. So gonna try this again. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just skipping ahead, skipping ahead in all the dialogue. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so she's back to alive. She needs to leave first. Natsuyasumi <laughs>
Wait, so it just goes straight back to the wrong end? How exactly do you... What? Okay, fine. Um, uh, I will not try that again. I will end this here and start chapter 2 immediately. I'll see you guys shortly. Oh yeah, and don't forget to comment if there's another game you want me to play, and uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna go straight to chapter 2 and try to not get the wrong ending.